0.1. Okay, so this is the package as it arrived at my door. Okay, I'm gonna just fast forward through this part where I'm opening up all the boxes. Uh, the box is really nice. Black and silver always looks elegant. And I'm trying to focus on the label, but that's the part number right there. I chose the unit body version. I figure like if I'm gonna crash it then and if it breaks, then I'll just change out the whole entire frame and try something else. Yep, that's the uh, LED PDB and uh, what's that rear bumper LED holder. And I gotta open up this package to see what's in there. Instructions is pretty much just an exploded view. It's got a little inventory checklist, but on the back side here is the exploded view. Let's see what's in. So that LED board and that bottom uh, bumper, that back bumper, and that LED uh, holder. Um, those I believe are extra and do not normally come with this frame. And we got the mirror stickers, LED PDB, the rear bumper, the LED mounted brace, um, and including directions. We got nylon hardware, some nice standoffs. These are nice standoffs. Uh, some metal screws. Uh, I got the Maytech PDB. This is the version 3.1. This is actually the same one that I have in my um, in my quad right now. Um, with a 3S battery, the, these PDBs hum, but with a 4S battery, they do not. So good thing this is a 4S build, but I do have a different PDB on order. Um, so it's one of the ones that have an LC filter built in. So I'm going to be using that one instead, but for now, I'll play with this one. Um, just fixing the focus here, since it'll have to be manual. Uh, you can see the whole entire bottom plate. It has a little more flex than I would like. I'm trying to show it in the camera here. But yeah, it's pretty flexible. Hopefully it's flexible but strong, meaning, well, hopefully it doesn't like transfer all the vibrations that badly, if there is any. The camera mounting hardware, for the FPV camera, top plate, top plate's pretty thin, that's my son in the background. Watching a movie. So these extra parts. <clears throat> you got two different places where you could put the VTX antenna in the, in the front using that little extra piece or in the middle front. But, no, that's enough. Yep, that's my son wanting to uh, stay and not go to sleep. Alright, going back over the inventory. Full inventory is you get little stickers. You got the LED PDB where you could have different LEDs on the arms. Um, I'm not going to use that, but uh, you got a rear bumper, LED mount and brace. You got directions uh, with the exploded view. Got some uh, nylon hardware standoffs, metal screws, landing pad standoffs with covers. Don't like the covers, but you'll see in the video. 
Uh, they give you a Maytag PDB um, on the bottom plate. Uh, camera mounting, the top plate and front bumper. VTX mount, the receiver and VTX mount. Uh, and battery cable holder on the side. I'm not sure if I like it, but I will build it with that. Uh, they give you some X XT60 connector cables, some heat shrink, so that's a nice add-on. Uh, sometimes if you don't have it, it's a pain in the ass to find it. Uh, what I don't like is that little PDB you know, carbon fiber um, spacer. But anyway, right now what I've been doing is just comparing the size of my uh, QAV210 with this uh, 220, 220 MK1 so I just realized that this 220 is only one centimeter bigger <laughs> uh, back to the quad <clears throat> Just checking out the edges. Edges are pretty smooth. I don't feel anything that's super sharp. That feels like it will cut me. So it's possible they did some kind of some sh processing, like filing uh, on the edges. So right now I'm just comparing, just checking to see if it's possible for me to switch over my electronics over to this frame. I already have a lot of parts on order. Now I'm going to start just putting everything together to see how it looks. Now, uh, one of the things I don't like is that they uh, have different size standoffs. So, if you're looking at the front of the frame. The first six are the same size and the back are supposed to be uh, a little bit shorter so that you can put the, I guess either the bumper or the, yeah so that antenna mount is supposed to be under the BTX antenna mount on the back. So I don't know why they would decide to put add-ons on the stack. It's a carbon fiber stack. Add-ons under, you know, within the stack. Why not put all the extras outside? Include screws that are longer. Like, let's see. You've got um, 18 of these six millimeter screws and only two of the 10 millimeter screws for that one part that is longer. Why don't you just include 10 millimeter screws? I mean, I don't think you're saving that much weight, but the, having the strength of the longer screws and being able to add other stuff, um, the add-ons that you guys have on the carbon fiber frame and other things that other people might want to add on uh, like GoPro mounts on the front, on the top. Um, I mean, it's nice instead of just having to use these short screws. Or we could just all buy our own screws, but it'd be nice just to have it included. If somebody was really that concerned with uh, the RAM that would get off the off the weight of uh, six millimeter, six millimeter versus ten millimeter screws. 
I'm pretty sure they will have their own, and they'll probably use nylon screws mm -hmm. instead of metal screws anyway, if they're that concerned. I'm installing the front bumper. Now, I haven't had that many crashes, but I really wonder how often the bottom plate and the front gets damaged. Most of the people, most people hit their arms, and if you put the frame like on a flat surface, the arms will hit anything before that front lip. I just don't know how beneficial that bumper is. Those little landing pad, landing skids. Uh, they got those little rubber, little plastic covers that you can put on them. So you'll see once um, I put those on. It just really makes the quad not balance. It's almost like a, a table with a long leg. It's just more annoying. What I like to do on those is uh, just put a nylon screw at the bottom of those and everything will be nice and level. And the nylon screw won't damage any tables or surfaces, any paint. So yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So here's what I'm talking about, the little plastic protector caps. Just because of the way these things are manufactured, they're not, they're just not precision parts. So it's gonna sit um, not leveled. The VTX mount, all these uh, mounting pieces of carbon fiber, including this VTX mount and um, the FPV camera, it really takes some work to get in there. So here I'm looking at the camera, um, the FPV camera mounts, and the slit <clears throat> or the cutout for where you mount the uh, you could mount the camera it's kind of more towards one side on the bottom versus the top and it is angled so I'm just trying to figure out what is the best uh, the best way to orient these pieces Um, I'm pretty sure it'll take some trial and error with my camera to see how far back I want the camera and how far forward and how much clearance I need, but I won't know until I build it. Yeah, I'm just continuing looking at, I'm trying to take a look at the camera and how it swivels and how would it be beneficial if it's like higher or a little bit lower or a little bit front or a little bit back. I really wonder if this little front, that front piece will just be able to work with my camera. I have to take off the lens and like feed it through. Don't know if it's worth having that little front piece. Yeah, as you can see, it takes a lot of work got these little FPV camera mounts but I mean the more you the more you uh, assemble it and disassemble it it gets a little easier to fit in but it's super tight yeah getting the all these little carbon fiber parts to line up. Yeah, I don't know if uh, 
just trying to force these pieces into the little slots and I'm rubbing off the carbon fiber but it's enough where I'm seeing noticeable carbon fiber dust on my fingers so that's kind of kind of scary you know you don't want to see uh, carbon fiber when people are talking about uh, causes cancer so I mean at this point I'm like trying to make sure not to breathe I really don't like adding on add-on pieces on the inside of that stack between the bottom and top plates. Uh, it would make a uh, production a little simpler. You have all the same size standoffs and all the same size screws. I'm just checking how much of the screw thread actually gets to the standoff. You know, I'm looking at the instructions right now as I read this. And that piece is not a spacer, that is a VTX mount, along with the other VTX mount. A flight controller, video transmitter mount, well, that could be my receiver mount, that might work out. Can check this stack. Maybe I can zip tie that thing to there. It might work. I might find it a little annoying. All right, here. Just taking everything apart because I want to test this LED PDB. See how it fits. If it's even usable. Yeah, it's pretty tough to take apart with all those uh, pieces wedged in. So this piece is actually a kind of like a VTX mount. I just don't know if I want my receiver to be a part of that stack. In the middle, I'm going to put it across from the uh, VTX that I have side mounted. That's what I plan on doing. I'm just putting screws into the LED PDB. If you wanted to use this LED PDB, this would probably be the best way to mount it. I would probably just put the screws in from the inside out and have the nuts on the bottom. So that way you have the lowest clearance possible.
All right, so I'm gonna check here how the PDB will fit on the stack. So using these longer standoffs, I just wanna see how the stack would look. Starting out so high. I will do a test fit here. It would be nice if it just like slid on nicely. It could be some deviations in the standoffs itself since they're nylon, but it does take a little bit of force to get that thing on there. So I'm using that little either VTX or receiver mount. It does allow me to use these smaller standoffs. But in the end, either I won't use that mount or I will, but <clears throat> it won't be there. I'll have the just uh, nuts to separate the PDB from the um, from the carbon fiber. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm just looking at the orientation of, of the power cables and how I want to solder everything. This Maytek PDB, it wouldn't matter which way you orient the board because you're not running signal wires through the ESCs. But on the PDB that I have coming, it does run the signal wires through the PDB and out to the flight controller. So, running the power cable will be interesting. So with the LED mount, I really do not like the recommended way they have. They have it set up to run down below the frame. I kind of want some protection on my LED. Now this LED mount, I really wish you could put it outside the stack. And face it like inside this like towards inside the stack and towards the middle but since it doesn't allow that I'm just going to remove that that antenna mount and put that outside the stack and put this LED mount inside the stack kind of like how my uh, QAV210 is And the lens I have on my QAV210 is the GoPro replacement lens. And it looks like it should have enough clearance. I want to see how this GoPro mount might fit. Now 
Now that's a suggested way to mount it. I really don't like it on the bottom. I'm just looking how, at how thick. Look at how thick the VTX mount, <clears throat> the antenna mount is. It's a little bit thinner than the LED mount. But it should still work. work. So because of the extra thickness, it does kind of bend the carbon fiber out in the back just a little bit, but it's not enough to make a difference. Yeah, well. I really do apologize that this video is a very boring video. I mean, it's just a carbon fiber frame. You really cannot mess up on these frames. Uh, they'll either break or not. This is a three millimeter bottom plate, so the flex is a little more than we like, but yeah, I mean, the only thing you can do is mess up on how everything fits. Let's fit. This one does come with a lot of extra parts. So that makes a uh, build just a little bit different because you have to actually think about where you want to use these parts or if, even if you want to use these like bumpers and antenna mounts. But it gives you options. I'm just checking the balance of the frame. Seems pretty good. Yeah, the balance there is pretty dead center. So, good job. Yeah, fortunately I can't balance it on the bottom. It's too top heavy for that.